Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to make a vlog style of video because uh, I was walking home from my work and I saw something on the road because uh, these days it was raining a lot and guess what? The mushrooms are out. Always the mushrooms are out when it's raining. And I was walking beside the river and I saw some mushrooms. Let me just show you what kind of mushrooms I found. This is actually in the middle of the city. Okay, safely made it down. And these are some of the mushrooms that I found. Let me just switch over the camera because I'm filming with my mobile phone. These are the poplar field caps. Look how beautiful they are. Let me just put them here. Perfect. This is basically in the middle of the city, beside the river. So, if you are into it, you can forage your food, even in the city. Because it's perfectly good to eat. And these poplar field caps are very good, very tasty. The, ins the insects like them, like them too. Just switching over the camera and let's see if we can find any more mushrooms. And look here, these are the other ones. Let me just switch over the camera. So these are as well poplar field caps. You can easily recognize it because it has this light brown cap. And uh, if you look underneath it, it also has these rings and it's light brown underneath. Okay, so let's take these two. These can also grow pretty big. Look exactly here beside how big these are. Look at this one, how big this is. It's as big as my palm. Look. These are actually two. Look how beautiful they are. These are huge, absolutely huge. Look, it's beautiful. And look, I will show you the meat. Look how beautiful it is. I will leave those there. I will take these these two because these look more fresh, and more white. This is just the just the pollen from the other one. So this is basically it. So look, I mean, not even five or six minutes, 
beside the river and I have a lot of mushrooms. I don't know, I think it's around almost two kilograms. So let me just switch over the camera so that you can see me. Now I will, now I will go home and uh, prepare them. So we'll meet in a minute. And I'm back with the already cleaned mushrooms and basically I just cut off the stem, I cleaned off the dirt and I washed them with a little bit of water. And while I'm at it, let me quickly show you how you can recognize it once again. So on the top of it, it has this light brown color and the gills are brown, similar to the champignon mushroom. And it also has a ring around the, the stem of it. And look at this one, how big it is. It's as big as my palm. And without any further ado, let's cook them because I'm starving. And this ain't gonna be some fancy recipe, so I will be just frying them straight up in a hot pan with uh, some cooking oil. And when the oil has reached a uh, good temperature, I'm just taking the mushroom, I'm putting it in the pan and leave it to fry until it's light brown. And when it's done on one side, I'm just turning it over and when it's completely fried, then I'm taking this one off the fire and repeating the process with the other mushrooms. And I forgot to do this with the first mushroom because I was overwhelmed by the great smell of it. But I am seasoning everything with a little bit of salt, afterwards a little bit of pepper and as a topping I'm putting on a little bit of cheese and I'm leaving it like this just until it's melted perfectly on the frying mushrooms and afterwards I'm just putting the mushrooms on a plate and they are ready to eat. And just look how great this simple recipe looks like on a plate with the melted cheese and a little bit of salt and pepper. And the smell of it is unbelievable, trust me. Let me quickly show you how the mushroom looks like when I'm cutting one in half. And as you can see, the meat of the mushroom is not dry at all. It's nice and juicy. And with this melted cheese on it, it's the perfect combination, trust me. So now I am finishing my meal. And you can hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for future videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.